gonna be talking with y'all about the things that keep us tied down. Um, let's see, for instance, let's see, we got porn out there, sex out of wedlock, um, you know, things like that, things of that nature, you know, if, if you're a, a cheater, you know, you're into cheating ways, you know, those are all things that are just going to hold you down and gonna keep you tied down. Uh, you stay in the devil's loop. You know, you, you're not going to be seeing anything prosper. You're not going to be receiving the blessings you need to, um, porn and all that porn and, and bad cartoons nowadays and uh, you know subliminal messages things like that of the sexual nature stuff like that that's all temptation that's all you know lustful things um, a lot of the, the programs out there are very lustful they have the character that everybody's in love with or the female or the male that everybody's in love with or the sexy female male you know they that's that pushes out of that that agenda we have that in cartoons nowadays we have that in TV shows nowadays down to the foods that we even eat you know you may not think of it like that but there's even foods out there candy bars that you may not think they're all have in a way tied in you know they some of them have sexual sexual ties you know what i mean look at the, the freaking sneaker bar the sneaker bar looks like a thing with veins on it you know what i mean so it's all out there with subliminal messages the um shows cartoons it pushes it out there as the agenda like if it's all right and it's not all right that's not the way god would want us to be living through uh, porn stuff like that if you got a porn habit break that porn habit stop watching that porn you don't need that porn especially if you got a girl man you, you really shouldn't even be even looking at porn you don't need porn in your life but the people that that channel out to that and look at that you know they stay in a loophole you know that's the devil's loop you don't need that stuff that stuff is it's very sinful it's very bad for your soul um you may think that some of the consequences that you do things that the actions that you do the consequences are going to get paid off this generation this lifetime you know oh no it could go roll over if you, you're bad enough and you're bad in this lifetime if you were bad in your last lifetime you're paying for some of the mistakes from your last lifetimes that you live remember we reincarnate so you make mistakes and, you know you're a bad enough person it might roll over uh, break that cycle you know stop stop all this madness you know if you talk about people if you have bad ways stop it you know stop doing that try to make a better you make a better tomorrow for yourself and for others not just because of the emotion that you're feeling at the time uh, a lot of people hold grudges stop that that's that's nonsense you know let it go already let it go and live your life look for a better tomorrow try to love yourself and you'll start loving tomorrow. You'll love others. You'll love tomorrow, what it brings for you. But if you're stuck in just grudges and, and what the last person did and, oh, my ex, this and that, you're never going to move on. You're going to stay in that cycle. You need, to, you need to keep it moving. Keep it moving. Forget. Forgive and forget. But, uh, yeah, you know, even porn. Porn's a bad one. You know, uh, sex, having sex. You know, if, if, the, if the guy or girl is not ready, uh, there's most definitely shouldn't be pressuring anybody. Um, you shouldn't make anybody feel like they're not loved or if they don't give sex up, then they're not loved. You should, you should really not be looking at things like that. Um, you should never try to give the false impressions of that's what love is. Cause it, it, love is not sex guys. Love is, is understanding somebody, knowing somebody, what they've been through, trying to work with them to be a better person at the same time vice versa you know they help you become a better person and if you're just out there for sex and you're just out there trying to use people for their love use people for their sex use people for their money or whatever whatever the case is then you know you you have some you have something coming for you, you know god god's got a plan for you will we we'll take it easy on you you know it's all up to it's all up to god you have to answer that with god if you like gambling like that and you like taking risks with your life, then go ahead, play with God. I wouldn't play with him. <laughs> I've seen what he can do and I've seen what he does. And I I, I put God first. I, I see now where my faults were in my past and my past relationships and past experiences that I've been through. I see now what that is. I, I see what the cause and the effects were. Now that I'm doing these videos, now that I'm trying to give somebody out there the understanding what what I couldn't understand at that time now to understand through me um, it's a uh, it's really crazy it's it's really wild you shouldn't have to go through the things that I've went through to understand 
what a better tomorrow can hold for you. You know, I thought there was going to be no end in sight. I was in some of these relationships that were were very toxic, very toxic. They were very crazy relationships. And I wondered why I stayed in that loop and why the cycle wasn't breaking and how long it was going to be. You know, we got these, these contracts, these sold contracts that we make with others that sometimes we don't even know. Um, you don't necessarily got to go through marriage to, to be in a contract with somebody. Some of these girls and guys out here know how to do a contract, you know, without you even knowing. Before you know it, you're looped in a contract that's for a year, five years, 10 years, 20 year contracts, sold contracts that you don't even know you're a part of. Now you're in this loop a cycle of just troubles and, and figuring out how to make it and things not going your way, always getting cheated on, things of that nature. It's up to you to do the right thing. If you're doing the wrong thing and you know you are, it's coming back, plain and simple. Plain and simple. It will not. You will not leave this earth without paying for the mistakes that you've done. And like I said, they may roll over. You may take it to your next life with you. You know, you may be born into your next life with lots of troubles already, just right off the bat. So be a better person, simple. You know, a lot of the people that I I know personally may look at some of these videos that I even do and, and wonder, hey, I know this guy from school, man. I, I know this guy. I know, I know his past. This is not this guy. This may not be who that is. But like I say, guys, everybody can change. Everybody has a rebirth. They can have a rebirth. You know, you if you check in with God and you go to God and you ask for God for forgiveness, repent your sins. There is a new, a new road, a new road, a new path you can take. And God's always willing to open those roads and paths for you. But He has to see that you're making the change for the better for yourself, for others, and for God. He'll never turn His back from you. And I understand that now. I see that now. You know, I, I I have a lot that I've I've come in come into my life. Uh, if I would have done it over, you know, honestly, I wouldn't have, because it wouldn't have got me to understand what I need to today. And what I understand today is that the whole time I thought I needed people or I needed somebody. Really, all I needed was God. That's all I needed. I don't need somebody to stand by my side and say, I love you. I know God loves me. I didn't need somebody by my side to push me because God can push me. It was just up to me and it was all in me. I finally found that. I found that peace within myself. I forgave myself. So regardless, you know, whatever it is, if people got something bad to say about you, don't let it phase you because you can always be a better person for tomorrow. And you can always be a new person. You don't need to be stuck in that limbo of what people think of you or thought of you or still think of you. It doesn't matter. All that matters is between what you and God got. I just wanted to share a few words with y'all guys. Peace and love.